Hello everyone, it is Susan here and welcome to my channel. So it is really early on Saturday morning. Everybody in my house is still asleep. Uh, yeah, it is 7.24 in the morning and it's dark out. <laughs> So I have like all my lights on in my room. Um, but anyway, this video is part of the collaboration with Jovi and Carol. I will have their uh, links below to, the, to their YouTube channels. And it is hashtag creating and recrafting. And it's all about using what you have in your stash. And it is a once a month collaboration. This month, the theme is nature. So anything nature themed, and it's really open to do whatever you wanna do. So any type of project is acceptable. So I'm going to be working on a page in my junk journal, and I did go through it, and I think I decided I'm gonna work on this page right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and I like to work on my pages on my desk and not in the book. So I just have my signatures in here, you know, just with, um, just tied in there so I can easily take them, you know, a page out and put it back in when it's done. So I'm going to use this. So that's a piece of scrapbook paper. And I pulled out a, a picture from this big book that I got at a thrift store. So I have that ready. Then I also pulled out of my stash, I have this cluster that I made a while back. So of course, it's the theme is nature, so flowers, birds, right? Very nature. Um, I do have this which was um i used paste and flat and uh paint to and then i stenciled these so i don't know if i can pull in this is also just on scrapbook paper so i have that just in case i can use it um, i do have this adorable little paper clip that i got from joanne from junk journal treasures and it has a butterfly so i thought I could see if I could add that. And then I just have a few laces and some um, seam binding. So let's, let's go ahead and begin. Let me zoom in just a little bit. And let's see. So I kind of have an idea. I do, you know, the first several pages that I made in my journal were very dimensional. So it quickly got you know, fat and chunky. So um, I'm trying to keep my pages a little bit less chunky at this point. So I'm going to see what I can do here without, yeah, without really making it super, super thick, super, super di dimensional. So, you know, I was playing around with it. I love this, this piece of, um, this is a tea dyed piece of, I don't know, probably a tablecloth or something like that. And I love the color of it. Um, and I can just even add a piece like that. I do also have just some white lace, which also looks pretty. I like the look of that. See, if I did something like that, I could even put that up there. And so I know, or I think at this point, that when I put this cluster on here, it will go out past the edge of this paper. And that's fine. And I know I'm going to be covering up a little bit of the flowers on this picture, but that's okay too. That's okay too. I didn't know if I could pull this in and I don't know, I don't think I can. So I'm gonna kind of put the seam binding to the side. I had also thought I could go a whole different route and maybe use this 
on the top and maybe the bottom or just the bottom or I don't know you know I <laughs> I like it all I like it all um yeah I don't know let's see I kind of like that I do um let's see let's see if we put this on the bottom and I think the reason I like this piece of ribbon right here is because it's it's white and this cluster has um, some white in it so it kind of kind of matches oh I think that that is really quite lovely just like that I don't know I like it all <laughs> I'm just figuring placement. See, if I put this here, it's it's really kind of, in my eyes, in line with this, and that looks just like a little bit too neat for me. Um, I don't know, now I don't know if I'm, this is gonna make it onto this page. So let's also kind of play with this just a little bit. I don't really want to cover up all of this um, pattern paper here because that's part of the reason I went with this like orangey color. Um, there's like orange here, right? There's a little bit of a, like a deeper orange here and the same here and it just kind of brings it all together. But you know what I'm thinking? Let's do something real quick here and it's not going to be you know, super neat or anything, but I'm gonna cut out this leaf. And I think maybe that I can add on, right? And let's see, let's give it a try. Why the heck not? So of course, leaves are also nature related. And let's just give this a try. I could even cut out more of these if I need them. All right, so let's see if this, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this into this this page so if I have that white on the bottom I can put some white lace up there I love that I absolutely love that um, should I cut out do I need like one more leaf like down here what do you think or am I or is that going overboard because what else I want to do is like pull in one of these chipboard quotes from Tim Holtz. So, see that would go down there. So I like that, I like that. Um, do I want something shorter? And I just happen to have these on my desk. So that's why I have these three. I think I like the longer one, I like that. All right, I'm gonna start getting this stuff down. Easy peasy, easy peasy. All right, um, so I need to get the laces down first. And I think I'll just go ahead, whoops, and grab my Aqua Tombow Mono Adhesive. I say it all the time, it is by far my favorite adhesive. And let's go ahead and trim this before I glue it on, I might have to clean that up a little bit. Um, so for this one, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the same adhesive and I'm going to put it on the top here only. And because I think most of it will be covered because I think I'm gonna be able to see the adhesive through the actual ribbon. 
Oh, not bad. Actually, I thought it would like pop through quite a bit, but it didn't. Um, so you know what that means to me? I can put some on the bottom as well. You know, sometimes when I put a wet adhesive and then I put like a, a fabric-y type piece on top of it, you can see that wet adhesive through it. And I didn't want to do that. Um, I am not, uh, should I or shouldn't I? No, I am not going to put any um, ink around this, but I am going to grab my tape runner, also Tombow, and I'm gonna use this to get this down. Good, easy peasy. So I know I have to have it fairly over to the side, um, I think I'm going to go like that. I think that that's a good placement for that. And I know I want this over here and I want it off to the side. And we want our leaf up here. And then this is going to go right there. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Um, what is the best way for me to get this on there? I can use wet adhesive. But it is fairly thick. So what I'm got thick, this is thick, right? Because, well, it was scrap of paper, um, but on top of it is paste, dry paste. So I could go ahead and get that on there with adhesive, but it will be a lot quicker if I do that. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Um, I am going to take the top off of here so it's not as, as um, di dimensional. So what I just did was I tore, tore a bunch of the um, chipboard off of this if you didn't if you didn't catch that. Um, so that's gonna go there. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna put a fairly good amount of adhesive on that. I think that that, oh, I'm sorry, I hope I was in frame. Um, that looks good to me, I love it. So then the last piece is this right here. Super pretty, oh, I love it, I love it. I think I can go probably right about there. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put in a couple staples and that's on. Wow, that was a lot of fun. It was really um, fun to look through my stash to see what I had as far as nature goes. I was like, at first I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna use? And then once I started looking, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have, you know, there's quite a bit that you might have that is related to, to nature. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this page back into my journal. And sometimes this can be a little trickier because depending on if there's anything else on that particular page, um, sometimes it's a lot harder to get it in here. But this page, is fairly easy and it is in it is in my journal oh i love it so jovi and carol thank you so much for this collaboration and everybody check out their channels and everyone else's that um is part of this collab and they will have a list of the participant well participants in their uh, description box um, and you can also search just click on the hashtag that you even see here on my video just click on it it should be like blue in color click on it and it'll take you to all the videos with that hashtag but this is super pretty oh I love it I love it all right well thank you so much and thank you everyone for being here if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. And I pray that you have a wonderfully blessed 
rest of your week. All right, bye-bye, everybody.